Very few countries have gotten this right. And um, I, I think that the appalling thing, just from a US-centric standpoint, is that we're exporting a whole lot of really bad and dangerous rhetoric, bad research, and unfortunately, it's being picked up and amplified in other countries, which is really distressing to hear something like, yeah, Mexico is gonna follow the US. Um, I'm like, no, don't. Um, it's also disheartening to hear that there are um, countries in Africa where the rate of smoking is actually going up when the rest of the world, you know, we're generally seeing reductions. But it, the most disheartening thing is still the, the, um, the anti-choice rhetoric, um, the desire to enforce this quit or die mentality and refuse to allow individuals to reduce their risk unless they're willing to give up everything. And, um, you know, that seems to just be prevalent. A lot of people don't understand that there is a genuine consumer movement associated with this. It's not manufactured. It's not an industry front. Um, it is very genuine and passionate. And so instead of trying to kind of create all of these things out there to represent us, you know, our voice needs to be listened to and included. Honestly, there are a lot of stakeholders in all of this, but the most important stakeholders are the people whose lives are, you know, impacted by all of this. And that, that would be those who use nicotine.